Hello everyone, it's Ellen here and it's Mindy Monday Madness. We're doing something goofy and fun today. Um, trying to get you guys out of the comfort zone and de-stress. We're painting a little mouse and some cups, some teacups. <laughs> I go over everything to, uh, step by step. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll try and get answer them if I, if I can. You know, I can't answer every single question, but I try. Um, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable, uh, but I teach you how to draw it as well. But you can download the traceable. If you're not a Patreon member, uh, it's a place you, I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, and live streams on the top tier. You can check it out up here, boop, when it comes up here in a second. Uh, it's a place people support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go over supplies. I have a 3-inch square of 100% cotton cold-pressed paper by Arsh. My palette, I go over the paints as I use them, um, and I have them in the description box. Paper towel, brushes I'll be using, Princeton 4 and 6 long round velvet touch series because it's a small little drawing, water jars. Um, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you real quick how to draw the teacups. You know, here's a teacup, just a curved line, then kind of curve down towards it, and then go in the center like that. And then for the handle, I'm gonna go in like this. Hold on. Curve it in here. Curve it in here. And then you can do the same thing, but you're gonna tilt it. See? Well, I actually have it going the opposite way on the second one. So you can kind of this one. You can do the same thing, but just go this way. <laughs> and then the mouse is just simple. Curve, curve. This little head is like a little rounded triangle with a half circle. Nose, round eyes. A little thing here and a squirrely tail beep 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 and a smile and then you can put whatever patterns you want in the teacups so i have mine here already traced into my design you could do where you're painting it um you know just without having to do any pen and ink i, I forgot to mention that i have a sharpie pen or you could do like i'm gonna do i'm loving the i'm just very into the pen and ink these days so why not I'll just draw the teacup in like so I like it because it's on that rough paper and you can kind of like this is more of like an illustration than a um, serious watercolor and I you know we need a little fun I decided to do a little fun today Woohoo, this is a little saucer. And then we have the lines. So I'm kind of drawing it twice for you, actually. Going here. So I made the teacups going si uh, slanting on this side, like this. And there's the mouse. See, a little line. A little pointy nose. A little beady eyes. Smiley smile. You can make it a boy mouse or a girl mouse. You can put little flowers on it. A little nose. Whiskers. And the curly Q tail. And then I have a, I just drew a big floral here. And I had little ones kind of here. See, little flowers. Doing a short. Now, you can do all kinds of stuff on the handle. You can do stripes. I have polka dots on this one here. You know, you can. Play around with what you want. Oh, this one doesn't have a little eyeball. <laughs> it would help. So then I'll erase the pencil marks that I have here. And then you just start going in and start, you know, washing in some paint. This is just a fun, loose, silly little illustration. Um, I'll grab my number six. So once everything's drawn in, uh, for the mouse, I have this color called uh, Neutral Tint that I'll use for the mouse, but you can just mix up any gray you have. I always have, the, I always take off the excess water on the paper towel. I'm just going to fill that in for the mouse. Actually, I just realized I didn't draw his little nose. I had to redo this uh, tutorial because I realized I cut out a lot of the painting, so I'm doing it over. <laughs> So if it seems like a little convoluted, you know why. 
So I just filled that in. I'm gonna leave that air a little white because I'm gonna make some blush color with some magenta and some Cabin Yellow Deep. Like this blushy tone. Again, I'll tap that excess water color on the paper towel and just fill it. That might be a little too pinky, but kind of blend that in right there. And they have to figure out what colors you want for the teacup. Um, I'm gonna just start off with ultramarine blue. Over here. I think I'll do that for the middle one. Around the flowers. Just a pretty sweet color. You can mix match the colors, bright, whatever color you want. Uh, I think I might do down here. You can, I wouldn't know if I do a pink or not. I do a pretty blush tone like this one. I'm gonna go around these flowers. It's kind of an orangey color, but like more on the pink side, pinky orange. So it's blush. I'm going around these little daisies that I drew. And on the top rim here. And the bottom one here. And then I'm gonna continue that color here on the bottom of the saucer. Um, for the tippy top, I don't know. Could do reds, purples, pinks, yellows, <laughs> green. Maybe like a turquoisey green. So I have my peacock blue, grab my yellow. Put it more peacock blue. Make it more of a turquoisey green. Water it down. And again, tap on paper towel, take off the excess. And I'll just kind of fill, mm -hmm. a little too turquoise. Fill that color in. I'm gonna go right over the polka dots because I'm gonna probably make them darker. Now that you establish your colors, because they're watered down, you might wanna change up um, how they go in here. So I'm going to take the turquoise color. I add a little more peacock. A little less yellow. And I'm going to put that in this stripe here. And down here. Just like that. I may continue it on the handle also. Ultramarine blue, I think I'm just gonna use more of the pigment. So I grabbed more of the ultramarine blue that I didn't really water it down as much. And I'm gonna get darker here. See? Less water. I pick up the excess water and I tap it on my paper towel. And I can do that darker blue stripe in here. For that turquoise green, I could add the blush color or maybe add the blue color or maybe purple color, whatever works for you guys. For me, let me think what I want to do. I don't know if I want the blush color. That's gonna be tricky, right? Maybe I do a little purple. So I got the ultramarine and I'll add a little magenta. I got a purple tone. And I'll put that in the stripe. And on the handle. For the flower here, um, yellow is a really nice complement to purple, so I'm going to just take some cabin yellow deep, and I'm going to put that color right in here, just bright yellow, to complement that. Um, for the flowers and that, you can make a nice bright, you put the magenta, I'm going to put it right in with that blush color that I mixed. I'm going to put that pretty color right in these little daisies, just to pop them. I'm still using number six brush, Velvet Touch series. I think I'll continue with this brush, I can handle that. For the little outfit, um, I can't, it looks more like a boy, so I'm gonna add like a blushy orange to his little outfit. So I'm mixing the yellow with the magenta. 
Oops, whoa, <laughs> I lost control of my brush. Water it down, and that's going to be his. If you're having trouble controlling it, just take off the excess water, like I say, on the paper towel all the time. And that blush color is perfect to actually add some deeper tones, less water on the edge of the cup, on the bottom down here. I'm going to get these shading tones in here once that's dries. And then on the bottom here and here. Same thing with the um, turquoise tone. A little bit deeper, which means less water again. I'm gonna get this peacock blue, a little bit of yellow, a little burnt umber, a deeper turquoise. And I'll put it right in here into the teacup. on the edges and then with the ultramarine same thing right just a little bit of water so it gets a little darker putting it here where it meets the other teacup because it's gonna have a little shadow this is just a loose fun simple little silly illustration and same thing with the purple again darker tone. Oops, a little too dark. On that little thing here. And I'm going to make it darker in the turquoise. Just going to fill that in. See a little shadow here where it's meeting the other teacup. And then on the edge here. And then the same thing with this body. See? the shadow and the, the mouse itself you just keep going back over and adding a little deeper tones mouse is in the house <laughs> it's pretty simple um just a goofy little simple illustration and again if you want to even get an even darker more intense kind of look i'm gonna grab it get it even darker with real shadows on this side so it's even more intense see that really dark and I'll do that again with the ultramarine just a little bit darker with my voice it's silly <laughs> um, on these handles you can make little fun stripes and make the uh, I'm gonna make the turquoise a little thicker, a little less watery, and I can put little little stripes I can paint on the handle. Just like that. Now the polka dot, I was actually gonna fill in with purple that I had on the same stripe. Just to be silly. And then the bottom here, you can put a nice gray little shadow. Take that same gray that with the for the mouse. I'm just going to put that out here. Mm -hmm. Just simple like that. This is super simple and easy. Once you get the drawing down, you're just kind of washing in the color, playing around. I might make these flowers a little. I'll put a dark magenta center. You can play around with putting dots, whatever you want to put on the teacups. I'm going to put some little dots on this one. Get creative with it. Again, it's just a stripe. You know, don't be afraid. I'm going to actually put a little shadow with that yellow. So I'm going to add a little red, a little magenta to that yellow. More on the orange tone. I just put a little shadow here. I mean, it's super finite. You don't really need to do that. And you know, that's it for now. If that's all you want to do. If you want to get a little even more sketchy kind of look, you can grab your nib and your um, ink. Now just be careful with this, especially in parts where it's wet still. I might want to put my little paper towel close by. I'm gonna just go over his little tail. 
little air. Just want that thick and thin line. Oh, you know what I didn't do, which I should have done. Sorry, guys. I take the dark yellow, orange, or blush color I had. I was gonna put a little stripe on him. <laughs> and see, but you put the ink in second, it's gonna bleed. So you wanna do that all your painting first. It looks like he has a mustache because I put it right under his nose like that. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I'm just gonna add it to some of the handles. So it has a kind of a sketchy look to it. Be very careful with these things. As you can see, they can bleed and then it made a blobby mess and it's hard to come back from that. It really is. I think I've shown you guys a couple times how I've screwed that up. The whole point is just to have fun though. So I'm gonna just stop while I can. <laughs> Cause I could screw that up easily. I'm gonna fix that little ink by the nose. So he kind of looks like he has a mustache. I'm gonna just grab a paper towel. See if I can lift it up. Hmm. I might try and lift it up with the the brush itself. See. Sometimes you can fix them. Sometimes you can't. I'll add a little gray here. But this is just a simple, quick little goofy mini Monday. Look, my hands are a mess. Just to get you out of the, the stress and the doldrums for, you know, a Monday. I mean, it's been crazy and stressful. <laughs> uh, I've been like off the rocker. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Again, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable, but I showed you how to draw it. I showed you how to draw it. You know, just slow the video down and you can see it. Um, have a fun day, guys. Try and do something fun. Uh, life is short and enjoy. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.